Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Brenda Pashon. I'm an author and a writer. I normally go by my pen name Jane Flowers with my publications and on my social media accounts. My most recent publication is called The True Legacy of Dr. Tom Boring, an Unsolved Murder Mystery Biography. I wrote my father's biography to preserve his legacy that is fabricated and slandered by photographer William Eggleston, who is a friend of, or who was a friend of my father before he was murdered. My father was murdered May the 10th, 1980. To this day, his murder is unsolved. He died of smoke inhalation, but William Eggleston claims that my father was murdered with an ax to his head. I've never spoken to William Eggleston. He refuses to speak to me. He's received a letter that I mailed to his home uh, in Memphis, Tennessee, and he signed for the letter. And in the letter, I asked him to please speak to me about my father's life and unsolved murder that he seems to know so much about. But yet, to this day, he and his family refuse to speak to me. His kids, who help him run his business and sell his fine, fine art photography, have blocked me on social media. They refuse to speak to me. Maud Schuler Clay, his cousin, I asked her what she knew about my father's unsolved murder and, and the fact that William Eggleston is claiming my father was murdered with an axe to his head, and she refuses to speak to me about it as well. So they are scamming the collectors and buyers of William Eggleston's photography with murderabilia associated to my father, Dr. Thomas Chester Boring Jr., and his life and unsolved murder with photos that were taken at his home at 508 MacArthur Street in Greenwood, Mississippi, and with one photo, this photo, that was taken next to my father's home at 103 Virginia Street where he was ultimately murdered. Okay, so today is January 28th, 2022, and in Atlanta, Georgia at Jackson Fine Art, William Eggleston is holding another exhibition. It's called Black and White to Color. He'll be talking about William Eggleston's guide that was published in 1976 when he had a portrait exhibition at the MoMA Art Gallery in New York. And I suspect he'll be talking about his most famous photograph called The Red Ceiling, okay? This photograph was taken at 508 MacArthur Street. It was not taken at 103 Virginia Street, as William Eggleston claims. This is one of the photos that he uses with his murderabilia. And this photograph, untitled T.C. Boring, 1972. Okay, see that? I covered up my father's penis because in this photograph, my father is completely nude, okay? So I want to go through the murderabilia that William Eggleston is selling, how he's fabricating my father's unsolved murder with photos of my father in the nude, and we'll go through that real quick. So if you go to the, the art gallery in Atlanta, Georgia, and you go see his exhibition, confront these people, ask these people, is William Eggleston selling murderabilia? They know. I emailed the art gallery. I spoke to a person there at the art gallery that is, I'm assuming she is one of the curators, but I also emailed the main curator of the art gallery in Atlanta, Georgia, explaining to them that William Eggleston is fabricating my father's life and unsolved murder with murderabilia. So here we go. William Eggleston had a portrait exhibition called Portraits in London, and that portrait exhibition was put on July 21st to October 23rd, 2016. And it was put on at the National Portrait Gallery, okay? Curator Philippe Proger was the curator that was showing the exhibition. And if you want to look at a YouTube video that Philippe Proger has that when he talks about William Eggleston's fine art photography, it's called Curator's Tour, William, William Eggleston's Portraits. Okay? You can go on YouTube and you can listen to and see that YouTube video. This is part of the murder video that I'm going to speak to you about. Okay? 
Now, in the curator's tour, and this was in 2016, Philippe Proger claimed that my father, Dr. Thomas Chester Boring Jr., died where this photo was taken. Untitled T.C. Boring, 1972. Okay? And he also claimed that this photograph, the red ceiling, was taken in the exact same home that this was taken in. Okay, and this was in 2016. And then he claims that this photograph of my father was taken at 103 Virginia Street. Well, it was. This photo was taken. It was taken in between my grandfather's home and my dad's home. Because my grandfather, Thomas Cheshire Boring Sr., lived next to my dad. So they had two houses connected. And in between the two houses, they had a vegetable garden. Because my family have always been very, we love gardens, we love growing. My grandfather was a farmer and he had cotton. My dad's dad, so he grew cotton. So, I want to go over some more about how it's murderbilia that William Eggleston is selling. So, in 2016, I just showed you those photos. William Eggleston and Philippe Proger at the National Portrait Gallery for the Portraits Exhibition that William put on were claiming that those photos were taken at the house my father was murdered in. So, but, in an article called Perfectly Boring that was published by Oxford American Magazine, they're located in Little Rock, Arkansas, William Eggleston claims that this photograph, untitled T.C. Boring, 1972, was taken at 508 MacArthur Street. And I want to read to you quickly the two paragraphs that state this in Perfectly Boring. And if you don't believe me, you can go back and read it yourself and go over what I'm saying. I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. Okay? So, here we go. There's two main paragraphs. And if you go to the 23rd paragraph down in Perfectly Boring, you will read these two main paragraphs that state that this photograph, untitled T.C. Boring, 1972, was taken at 508 MacArthur Street, where my father lived, up until 1970, and he sold his home, oh, I'm sorry, 1971. He sold his home to his good friends, uh, Patty Meek and Dr. Meek. So Dr. Meek delivered me, and he is an OBGYN. So he is the doctor that delivered me when I was born in 1974. So here we go. The two paragraphs that say that Untitled T.C. Boring, 1972, was taken at 508 MacArthur. Here we go. In his small house on MacArthur Avenue, Boring had constructed a counterculture all to himself. He painted the master bedroom a dark red. The living room largely lacked furniture, while the rest of the house was filled with broken appliances and junk. There was rarely food in the refrigerator, and the cabinets, too, were empty. Visitors to the house remember purplish lights and the constant smell of burning incense. This period of Boring's life is memorialized in the most jarring photograph included in the seminal William Eggleston's Guide. The first solo collection of color photography ever published by the Museum of Modern Art. It's a portrait of sorts of boring in his bedroom. His bed is unmade. A cigarette dangling ash from the dresser. A large oxygen tank stands propped in the corner. You can make out a few words scrawled in black on the walls. Tally Ho and Mona and God. The photo stands out bluntly among shots of dirt roads and southern gentry. Boring, standing nude and bewildered in his red room. Michael Angelo's David recast as a southern acid freak. Okay, so that right there, my, my dad didn't do acid. And he wasn't a freak. So, but that article is full of slanderous, libel, 
claims about my father. I mean, I could just go into it in detail. I'll do that at a later date because it's just so many lies in that article. It's just not funny. And I want to talk about that. So it doesn't name the photo. You see that? That's the photo that those two paragraphs, the second one, were both of them, they got to this photograph. Okay, talking about that photograph. So as I just mentioned to you, if you, I'm going to read this again. Tally ho. I don't know if you can see that. So here we go. There's a little bit of glow. It says God, Mona on the sides, and tally ho. See that says tally ho, unmade bed. So you see the unmade bed, God, Mona, the cigarette dangling from his dresser, my father standing in the mood, nude. Okay, he's not bewildered in his room. He's scratching his head. And so, but this, as you can see, it describes a photograph, but it doesn't state the name of the photograph in Perfectly Boring. But that's the photograph it's talking about in, in Perfectly Boring. Okay. Now, if you go to YouTube, and I'm going to play this for you really quickly so you can hear it. I don't know if um, you're going to hear it well, but... This is curator Philippe Proger, and he's stating that this portrait I just showed you of my father was taken at 103 Virginia Street, where my father was murdered. So there's two different claims that William Eggleston has of, as of where my father was murdered, and that's part of his murderabilia. I don't know if William Eggleston has a part in my father's murder, but he could be a third party that's relaying the message of how he was murdered to other people. I'm not sure if he had a part, but it's highly possible since he refuses to speak to me about my father's unsolved murder. So here we go. Spray painting the words God and Tally Ho and the name Mona on the wall. Those were all his doing. And he created these colored rooms in his house. So he had a red room. This is exactly the same red room that the famous photograph of the ceiling with the bare light bulb, the red ceiling by Eggleston, was taken. Well, that's how Eggleston saw him on most occasions. But in this Polaroid photograph, we see him in a way... This is the Polaroid photograph he's talking about. Is gone. He's very connected with nature. It turns out, unfortunately, that the photograph in red was the one that would become his epitaph. This photograph. This boring was ultimately murdered in an unsolved crime. To this day, we don't know the circumstances by which he died. All we do know is that he was axed by some assailant, and then his body was burned in the house he lived in. So not only is T.C. Boring no longer with us, but the house depicted in this scene has been destroyed. Thank you for coming on this mini tour of the Eggleston Portraits exhibition. I hope you'll come and enjoy so there we go. Philippe Proger just stated that my father was murdered where this photograph was taken. He says the house is destroyed. This house is not destroyed because this, this photograph was taken at 508 MacArthur Street and the house is still standing. And it did not become his epitaph because William Eggleston is lying to you. I've already proved to you that he has two claims as to where my father was murdered. He's using his most famous photograph called the red ceiling to shock people and just shock them and it is shocking it's very shocking murder is it's it's terrible you know when anyone family or any person has to go through being murdered and like me my family we go through every day we are you know it, it's emotionally distressful for us that we have to continually deal with William Eggleston's lies. I mean, he's making millions of dollars all over the world fabricating my father's unsolved murder with photos taken from his home at 508 MacArthur Street, okay? So I'm perfectly boring. At the beginning, you see a photograph of my father and he is with William hugging him, okay? They were good friends. This is my dad. That's William. They were very good friends. Um, really good friends and in the article at the beginning it says Mississippi and big and big bold letters murder 
and William Eggleston's red ceiling, okay? So this is his red ceiling. And, he, and it has the word murder next to it, okay? He is selling murder belia, okay? So if you do not believe me, you can go back and research what I've told you. You can go back and research my claims. I have no problem with that. His family, like I said before, they refuse to speak to me. The only way they're going to speak to me is in court. And I will take William Eggleston to court. I'm going to sue him eventually. It might be tomorrow. It might be next week. It might be next year. I don't know. It could be this, this year. But I don't have an attorney, but I'm going to sue him under the Son of Sam law when I get an attorney. Attorneys are not cheap. Believe me, they're not. And I have set up a GoFundMe account. You're welcome to go check it out. Okay? It's on my uh, link on my bio on Twitter. And on my Facebook page. And uh, you could punch on there and donate to my GoFundMe account if you want to help me get an attorney and stop this man from fabricating my father's life and unsolved murder with murder billia. My father, Dr. Thomas Chester Boring Jr., was a U.S. Navy veteran dentist. He was a dentist. He was in the Navy for 23 years. I have all of his military records. I ordered his military records from the Navy. I have all of them. I, it, it states in his military records every step my father took from January 13th to 19, January 13th, 1949 to 1972, because the Navy, they watch your every step. Any military branch, the Army, Air Force, they watch your every step. They know what you do it, and they record it with your military records. And in my father's records, it stated that he was in college during the Korean War. He went to Ole Miss in 1950 to 1952, and then he went to Yolola University in New Orleans where he got his uh, de um, dental license, okay? So he did not go to the Korean War. He was never in the Korean War. And in the article, Perfectly Boring, that Oxford American Magazine published, it states that my father was in the Korean War. There's just so many liable, fabricating claims in that article, it's not funny. And that is what I'm going to be suing William Eggleston under that article. I will be filing a federal lawsuit in Little Rock, Arkansas, when I have the money to retain an attorney. I want to stop William Eggleston from using my father's likeness and photos of his home, I will sue him under the Son of Sam law for all the rights to these photos. Any photos taken of my father and his home, I will retain the rights to them. I will put a stop to William Eggleston and his lives. I, my family and I, we don't, we don't, this is not kosher. This is not cool. And it has to stop. I, I am not with, okay with that at all. It, it's very emotionally stressful for me and my family. Uh, we, you know, murder, my father's murder. Do you, do you think we mourn? Do you think that I, I love my father and I will never ever have any person, I don't care who they are. You can be the famous William Eggleston, whoever you are, you're not going to fabricate my father's life and unsolved murder for your gain. It's not gonna happen. I will take him to court. And I am going to sue him under the Son of Sam law. There's a 10-year statute of limitations with the Son of Sam law. So here's another thing I'd like to show you. This is very interesting. It, and I don't know if I can get this right because it's kind of hard to hold up both photos. Now, William can change the photos of this if he wants. But if you go back and look at the red ceiling, if you notice right here, it goes into like a little dip right there. And then that's the wall, the line of the wall right here. Okay, so that right there, if you look right there, they line up. I'm sorry, let me go over here. There we go. Oopsie, I got that wrong now. They line up. Okay, so that right there is the window seal. You see that? The window seal that was in my father's bedroom. This is called the red room. 1970 1973 and this photograph I am assuming is also used with Lee Michelson's murder video not much is known about this photograph really except that Paul McCartney's daughter Stella McCartney had it in her 
uh, where she works in London in her, what is that in London? Where she, she designs her clothes. So this is the red room. So I'm going to like, I'm going to end this now. And I just want you all to see these photos. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for hearing me out. Thank you for learning more about William Eggleston's photography. Because the truth needs to be known. Facts need to be known. Facts matter. And if you get a chance, please stop by my GoFundMe and, and donate to my campaign. I could really use the money to get an attorney and stop the lies that William Eggleston is putting with photos of my father in his home and with new photos of my father in his home. Okay, so thank you for joining me today. Have a good one. And if you want to, also go by my Substack website called Jane Flowers Substack Skeptic. You can read about William Eggleston's murderbilia. On there I write newsletters. I talk about it on my website. Thank you. Have a good one. Have a good one. Bye.